Okay, I've been working on our furnace for about three days, trying to figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, it's a Lennox. Here's the uh, model number. C23261, but a little more digging, I found out down here, it's actually an 80 MGF3 75A7. I did a lot of research on the internet, YouTube videos, trying to figure out why my furnace would not fire up for heat. Researched a lot of things. I fired up and all I, I could hear the gas blowing, but there would be no spark. And I come to find out that this one does not have a pilot light, but it has what they call an igniter. A uh, spark igniter is this cable right here is connected to the spark igniter which is a turn goes to the control board the control board sends a message to the igniter to, and you can hear it arc when it sends, this, sends the uh, signal and then the gas flows and then you can hear the gas fire up and it wasn't doing that so I've been trying to figure out why I did everything but spark. Uh, this here is the pressure switch. This is the induction blower right here. This is your gas valve. And there's an on and off switch on it. Make sure it's in the on position. Uh, I also had some flashing lights, as you can see. I have flashing lights and I've diagnosed that to figure out what the problem was. And that didn't help me either. But I kept trial and error everything. I kept checking out everything, trying to figure out what's wrong. It has a flame sensor on this side. There's a flame sensor back there. I took that out, cleaned it. That didn't do nothing. I took the igniter out, used some sandpaper, cleaned it up, put it back in there. It didn't do nothing either. Racking my brain, trying to figure out what is wrong with this, why it wouldn't start. Got a power switch over here. First thing you ever want to do when you work on your furnace is turn that power switch off. And that's your gas flow right there. Well, finally, after three days of working on it, trying to figure out what it is, finally took this cable off right here from this part because I realized I'm not getting any spark up there at all. I was like, well, the only thing that could be is the control board on this cable. I took the cable off, that gray cable, just like a spark plug cable. I took it off, and this end has like a metal plug. And this end down here just pushes into that black thing connected to the controller. Well, I took that out, and I made a new fresh cut on it, and I put it back in there, and lo and behold, I can hear it arc and I can hear it fire up immediately when I got to that stage. So I just wanted to, I know this was not on YouTube anywhere, and I don't know if anybody else had this model number. Maybe this will help you out uh, before you go spend a lot of money. This ended up not costing me anything because I just kept doing some research on it. Those control boards are about 300 bucks, so on this particular model. So that was the last thing I wanted to do, if that was what it was. So, a few, Like I said, a few things that you want to do first is take your igniter off and clean it. It has some uh, carbon buildup on it. Put it back in there. Clean your flame sensor. That determines the, the flame and if it's uh, the right amount of flame and, and, and heat is put out. And uh, so if you have any questions, Feel free to email me. Uh, I'll do my best to help you. And uh, thanks for watching this video.